Okay, I hereby call to order the November 20th meeting of the Cattle Cemetery Commission at 6 o'clock p.m. For the record, those here, myself, Michael Fullerton, Chair, Sherry Fitch, Member, Sage Kennedy, Member, and our Sexton Joe Mangan of Kirkyard Services. Does anybody have any changes or additions to our agenda? Hearing none. No, none. Have you all read the minutes of the last meeting? Yep. Yes. Any changes or additions? No. I move okay. we accept it, approve it, whatever yes. you call it. <laughs> accept them. Is there a second? Yes. yes. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good. There you go. Sexton's report. So I, I gave you that sheet of paper with all the barrels. And yes. I will double check on the amount of plots, double check that number, the amount of plots that we have above. Right. Um, we have a burial schedule for the 17th, so I'm going to probably lock up the gates this week and then unlock them for that burial on the 17th. Um, it's just an ashes burial, so it should go smooth. And, um, and then after that, the summer trade should be closed for the season. And uh, I do have uh, my contract here. It, it, none of the numbers changed. They are the same same numbers for this year for next year. Right. The only thing that's changed is uh, we we are uh, doing away with the, the name Kirkyard Services, and uh, we're uh, absorbing Kirkyard Services into Hill House Estate. So I have the contract written now under Hill House Estates, LLC, and um, so just to give that to you guys from your asses, you guys want to accept that or wherever you guys are at, so that's, that's what that looks like right there. Okay, have you uh, talked to the town clerk or the treasurer about it? No. Okay. No, there's, uh, as far as uh, anything legal about it, it's, it's, it's perfectly legitimate as far as it's just a matter right. of right. But they just know how to make out the bills from now on. Oh yes, I yes, I will. I will once you guys accept it, then I'll I'll, I'll let them know um, that okay. the name change is going to be. Talk right. to me. You don't know what the order you've already mentioned, and I missed it. What's the name? Elm House Estate. Elm House Estate. Hill. 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 Thank you. Hill House yeah, Estates LLC. Yeah. You're doing good. Oh my night. Right. <laughs> Get a grip. Is Get a grip. I say to myself. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, I had a couple of right. questions. Um, the Ainsworth fence amount that we that you quoted us. Yes. Was there? There was a swinging gate there. Yes. I'm wondering if, in an effort to save a little money, we don't put that gate up and just put a chain across the gate. That would save a lot of time for me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you might, at some point, give us a revised estimate for that. Yes. Doing it that way. Is that, does that sound good to you, too? Yes. I would love a revised estimate on that fence, only because the span is only so much compared to the other fences we've done. Yep. Um, I know it was like eight fifty, I think, to take the boards off uh, from this, you know, summer slash fall, yeah. and that felt like a lot, which is fine. Um, <coughs> but I wasn't sure if that eight fifty was included in the sixty eight hundred, and also that like, ouch. But if we need uh, to like contract out to somebody else, that's totally yeah. Doable. Yeah. It just felt like high for the span. It's eighteen, and yeah, there, there's, there's still a lot of drilling to do, and uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's still quite a bit of like um, work on that that was supposed to do as far as reattaching them and using the epoxy because we use the sinkers plus the epoxy, so it, it does. We eat up quite a bit of epoxy doing that, and that's right. expensive. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could definitely take off the uh, the gate for sure if you wanted to, and I could take a look at the numbers and see if we could trim 
trim, you know, sharpen our pencil a little bit and see what that would what we Yeah, I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind that. I obviously we all know in a lot of ways like personally invested because I live on that road, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you've been patient and good with me for wanting that. But I felt like a lot of that fence was already like down, and so I wasn't sure on um, uh, how you went with doing the, the screws and the epoxy and whatever up yeah, front it's on just that like, end, it, as opposed to the 6800, I was thinking, oh, maybe that goes toward that. You mean uh, taking it down? So it got taken down, and it was 850 to take it down. Right. And that felt, and you know it. what, eggs are high, mug is high, it's all high. But I was like, oh, okay. But I was, <coughs> in my hope, was thinking, oh, maybe that was part of, um, Defense. So I would have to take a look at the yeah, look at no. again and, and see. I don't think it was, but um, I don't think it was. But we also part of the gate situation is the way it's attached to that the post. We have to we have we have to do we'd have to take that all apart and reattach it. Right. In a proper no, no. Way. I so, was just thinking about the span so have, of the yeah. fence that was taken down, taken away. Yeah. The, the gate is still there down at the end, but. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. 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 Okay, it can't be done until after July anyway because that's <laughs> when we get the money. But uh, yeah. between now and then, we'll get a number figured yeah. out. Yeah, I can try my best. Okay. And, uh, and the other thing I wanted to ask you was, I was driving by the short cemetery the other day, and there's a bunch of leaning stones in there. Yep. Um, I have an idea what it might cost to set those up. The leaning stones. I usually charge forty dollars. Stone yeah. straight. And, you might um, just look there because I've got a budget item here I want to talk about that could involve that. It doesn't okay. seem like it's horrible. Right. Yeah. But yeah. okay. And so I, I so I have a blanket uh, fee of what I charge for fixing stones and straightening stones. And usually the the medium sized stones, the smaller ones, are forty dollars, and then the fix of stone it's one hundred and fifty. So yeah. Uh, if there's multiple breaks, we just just the one fifty still. Yeah. So. So between now and then, we can look at those. Yeah, and I think old, uh, the old section of Fairview has a few stones that have toppled over. Right, we can look at that. I'm thinking, and we get to a budget discussion here in a minute, that I'm gonna maybe include something for that kind of work. Because we, long ago, apparently somebody agreed that you were gonna take one cemetery every year and fix everything. Yeah. That's where we got that big bill for doing everything in Poplar. Yes. Which looks great, by the yeah. way. Yeah, Papa looks nice, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, anything else you want us to know? Uh, nope, that's about it for the season, so. Okay. You know, Good. I'll be locking up this week and doing that last burial on the 17th. All right. Uh, let's see, this isn't really on the agenda, but I gave you both the latest statement from Kari. He had one question, and I looked at it, and I can't figure it out in an answer. We have a line for burial expenses, and we have a line for burial receipts. And why are we getting less money than we're paying for burials? We receive- Where? I see the burial expenses. What line is the burial down receipts? Below. Way down below, number two. 4250 burial expenses, yeah. um, I mean burial receipts. And then up top, Burial expenses, 43. The only thing I think of is some kind of an accounting error or somebody got paid in one fiscal year and buried in another fiscal year because you charge us less for doing it than we yeah, sell yeah. it for. So that somewhere- should have, should have a uh, positive. It's an, account, positive it's an accounting thing. I, I wrote back to Kari who asked me that and I said, I have no idea. Is huh. that, remember we had that special meeting with a lady that wanted to bury her. Uh, there you go. Is that the fifty? That's it because you did it for half price. Well, that should make. Was so that for? We charged. We we sold it for Mr. half Semanskis? price, and you paid your that. Okay. You think Is that the Samanskis? I think. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay. 
but right? yeah, but we pay Joe what we'd normally pay him, but we only charged half. Yeah, we okay. So that's oh, that's where I that know. fifty dollars is. Yep. yep. Samanskis, right? No. I think it was for John Samanskis, and his wife asked for, and it's in Hudson Cemetery. Does yeah. That sound right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. And then the uh, the woman who wanted her brother's ashes buried. Ooh. Okay. I don't remember that one. Good. I I can demystify that for him. That'll make him happy. Now you can sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sleep better after dinner and a whiskey. <laughs> Although I tend to drink rum. Okay. The budget for fiscal twenty six. Uh, I went to the select board meeting on uh, the 11th, and they would be very, very happy if we took the $10,000 for painting the, the fence at OS Church out. We are fairly certain that we're going to get the football players and other sports players there to do it. So with any luck, we're going to be able to paint that fence without having to hire somebody to do it. I said, I think that's reasonable, but I've got to discuss it with the rest of the commission. So if that happens, that would reduce our budget by $10,000. I would for the moment, I said we got to leave the 60, uh, 680 or whatever it was, 6800 for the Ainsworth fence in there because we did a survey of the town and the taxpayers say, yeah, we don't want to pay for that. So if we leave that in there, that'll reduce the budget by 10000 But I also had personal thought that maybe we ought to add a little more for special projects just in case. Maybe putting some work toward straightening stones in the way. So, so is there, may I ask, <coughs> if there's a way for there to be like, I hate this word, but caveat so if we don't spend that money on the fence that maybe that goes into our first like rocking it out ish doesn't have to be all of it um <coughs> toward that fund that looks at is it reserve fund we're t you talked about Having a fund where we've got money for future projects. Yeah, that's the next thing I've got, or okay. our, the second thing afterward. Um, I don't think there's any problem with us budgeting something and then spending less money than we budgeted for. No, right. It just stays right there in the budget. Yeah. yeah. And then if if we do this reserve fund thing, I'm thinking of, we could at the end of the year say whatever's left over, we could throw it in that fund. Right. Yeah. I agree. So my thought is we just take the 10,000 out, we leave the fence money in there. And if we're gonna do it for less than Joe's original estimate, we'll have a little left over. We can either put it in the fund or we can use it to straighten up a few stones. That's, um, yep, I totally. So I guess I need a motion to take that $10,000 out of the budget. So moved. Okay, seconded. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm done. That will help. That'll make the select board a lot happier. I feel like it will be a rough uh, town yeah. meeting. The next thing I managed to do with the select board is to talk to uh, Rod Buck from Trustees of Public Funds, and I said, we need to get the money back for all those stones. And I explained it, uh, how we changed our pricing. This is never going to happen again. And he said, what I said, I said, the fund exists to reduce the amount we have to ask of the town. And this is $9,300 we don't have to ask the town for. And he said, that's right. You can have it. So this, uh, okay. uh, the uh, statement I gave you shows that we have that money. We won't actually have it until January. The 8715? No. Um, oh, the 9300. The 9300. So that will go into our budget. That will reduce our overwhelming deficit by that amount 
and uh, everybody involved appears to be happy. So I don't think we need a motion for that. It's done. It was That's a big deal, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So next thing, possible creation of a reserve fund. I suggested this at the meeting at, at the select board. And I'm thinking if we had a fund that we could put some money in that the town would give us every year and not use it and just let it build up, someday there's going to be another fence that's got to be done. The town got hit for over $30,000 on those two fences that we rebuilt two years ago. We may not be able to reserve that kind of money, but if there's a fund that just sits there and builds up, next time there's some big unexpected expense, we've got a reserve fund. And I was thinking about asking the town, this would be a separate item at town meeting. Will the town agree to create this fund? And then another item, will you agree to fund it with $2,000 to start? And then we could vote more money every year or put our leftovers in it, whatever. Sound like a reasonable idea? I, yep. It does. Great. I would have to write up <coughs> the item for the town warning. But I can, I can sit down with Carrie or Barbara or both and come up with wording, you know, how shall the town do this? So, um, how about a motion that we do that? I make a motion that we do that. Hey, I'll second it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 I think it's a great idea. I'm proud of myself for thinking of it. Good job. Yes, well done, Michael. Okay. Now, I sent out somewhere a notice to you guys um, coming up with what items do we want to put in our annual report. I just got Joe's number for the little bullet list at the end. I how many burials we did, what they were. Uh, I'm trying to think. I thought I had some notes I made to myself, but I can't Joe, find them. Joe, did you want to say something? No. Okay. Here. <clears throat> so, I can't find my notes, but we want to talk about the fences that we have gotten painted for nothing, the fence we hope to have painted for nothing, the fact that we're going to be putting up a new fence at Ainsworth, uh, the fact we're still using <laughs> whoever they are at the current yeah. moment for a uh, We'll explain that fact. We're still using Kirkyard Services, now known as Hill House LLC, and doing a great job. And I've been getting compliments. I've talked to a number of people yeah. no, who tell good. me how good the cemeteries look. Good. So what else do we want to talk about? We have pictures, or a picture, or <coughs> something we could do, too, can't we? If we don't have a picture of the new fence at uh, Old West Church with the new gate, That'd be a good thing to have a picture of in there. I also have to say, that pic of the football. The whole team. Yeah. Yeah. They got a great pic. And I wouldn't mind, it could just be half a sentence, but there were a lot of community members who primed that fence. That was and, torture. Yeah. I only did um, it. Anyway, like, were you cheering him? Like, seriously. And even at the end, like, Ann Wheelock and Joe Grantor, I mean, it's, it was amazing. And yeah. Michael every time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went um, out so there myself that, all by myself. <laughs> it was. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Great. I, yeah. So it what I'm going to do is I'm going to start writing something up, and I'll send it around to everybody, and we can go back and forth. Right and come up with uh, what we think is going to be a good report. I do want to say, like, doing any kind of, like, <coughs> hurrah for the future, meaning Old West Church, do you, Joe does, but that fence is totally different than the Robinson Cemetery. There's, it's like, it, it is completely encompassed by a fence. Yeah. It's a lot. And it's a more complicated fence. It absolutely There's is. More Once there again, I don't know what to tell you, but yeah. And maybe, yeah. yeah. But that's what was there. That's what we put back. Yeah, we really did. Yeah. We, you and Joe. Great. Yeah. Well, this is cool. Um, 
Barb Butler said today to me, second request, conserve oh, your meeting schedule. <laughs> yeah, Same schedule, did you see fourth. That email? Yeah, I think uh, we'll just keep going like you That know, was whatever. four days ago she sent the first request. Yeah. It was on a Sunday. Right. So come on, Barbara. Uh, I think it's fine. Aren't yeah. the Wednesdays at six, right? Fourth fourth Wednesday at yeah, six. Yeah, they always surprise me, but yeah. yeah. Alternate months during the winter, same as I want to say during the winter, can we take like a collective break on that? Because there's really not much going on. No, no. Yeah, we don't meet in December anyway. Right. We might meet in January if we needed to do anything more to get ready for town meeting. Uh, February is too late to meet for town meeting because it's the week after. But we might want to get together. But I say we don't. I, we don't normally meet in December. Okay. I don't know if I wasn't. I don't know. I just January. wanted to put it out there that sometimes it's just like meh, because when it really starts happening. But you want to be ahead of the game when it really starts happening. Right. Death. We can Sorry. always call a special meeting anytime we need to. Okay. Okay. So same. So schedule. what are we going to say to Barbara about the same schedule? Same schedule. Same schedule we yeah. have now. Okay. I'll e I told her I'd email her after our meeting, okay. so. so she's good. Before the third request. Okay. Anything else? No, I want to thank everybody for showing up. Thanks for a quorum. Yeah. Right. I appreciate it. No. I was worried thank when you wrote, because yeah. I was like, no, I'm going to, I'm like two miles. I, I'm going to do it if I can, but I was like, ooh, can we do it? Legally, whatever. But yeah. yeah, we got all of this Thank stuff you, we Morka. need. To, we got the things we Thank needed to get done to done. So, yeah, right. thanks. Oh, all right. So officially, I uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I second it. Oh, uh, I I I don't know. Did you make the motion? I, I can't I make just a motion. made them do it. <laughs> <laughs> make the motion. We adjourn. Second. Yes. All in favor. Aye. Aye.